everybody and welcome into HelenKenner.com. I'm Helen Kenner, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I'm so happy you could make it tonight. I've got two very, very different but cute uh, Valentine's cards to show you tonight. Both of them are using the adored, most adored. A designer series paper that's part of the celebration um, promotion that we have. For every $50 that you spend, you get a free um, item, and the paper's one of them. Let me show it to you on the in the catalog. I really, really like it. I've already used it once. <laughs> Y'all remember that? There it is on page nine and you get it for free for every fifty dollars that you spend and what it is is one side of the designer series paper is gold foiled so this is this is a see all that gold and the other side is red or Flirty Flamingo, I think. See, it's more, um, more Valentine's y but you get 12 sheets. What's that one? Isn't that one really pretty? And I just, and I really like that one too. So I just wanted to give you two examples of what you could do with this designer series paper. I'm going to set that there out of my way. So, um, I just wanted to show you this one. See the gold? Let's see. Maybe I can show you on both of these the scraps that I have. So it's originally like, um, I want to say white. It's white underneath it with gold. But what I did with this one is I brayered on color. Do you see that green? Um, so you can brayer on it. And and I'll talk to you more when we brayer to uh, talk about it. But this one, I used the blending brushes to add uh, color to it. So I'll show you that one and we'll talk about it a little bit more. But um, isn't that just gorgeous? And again, um, you know, it's just adding color to the designer series paper so it's uh, very easy and a lot of fun why don't we start with the brayering first all right let me get down here so you can see it i hope i have all my pieces together tonight i thought i did last week and boy i messed that all up didn't i but Okay, so the card itself is using the watercolor melon, which is also a free item from um, for spending fifty dollars. You can choose this, or you can choose the designer series paper. So it's the watercolor melon, and we're using uh, some of the pieces for that as well. And I got the sentiment from Pick at the Patch. And it's, um, you're the pick of the patch. I thought that would be really cute as a, like a Valentine's um, card. See how I put that on there? You're the pick of the patch. Uh, so anyway, I thought it was cute. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, um, I just added it to white base. And so I've got that here. Get my phone folder. Now burn it. Do you see how that does that? For people that um, don't stamp or make cords, you don't want your cords to do that. You want it to lay flat. So that's what burnishing does. Do you see that? It makes it lay down. And it's so much nicer. Um, not a big deal, but I like it better like that. So we are going to take a piece that I think is four by five and a fourth. 
of the designer series paper. And set all this over there. And you remember we've already talked about the brayer. Um, what I'm finding out about it is that this kind adds a lot more ink uh, than our others did. Our others you had to um, you know brayer over it a lot. This one holds on to the ink and when you go to roll it on it really rolls on. So we're going to start off with our um, granny apple green and ink this up. Now did you see how I laid it down? The feet go up when you're braring and go down when you set it down so it doesn't get your um, your tabletop or whatever it is that you're setting this on. Again, you want to, I, I roll in the same way. I don't go back and forth, back and forth. I go in the same way, ink it up. Now watch how you, when you add this, look at that and you're done. Now you can add more, I did, going in the same direction to get the same coverage. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to set it down with my feet down while I'm closing this. That, that's just how easy it is, you guys. Just that easy. Okay, while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and clean off my mat. Oh, now why am I using that? It comes with, I'm still trying to get used to using the um, little wipes that come with it. So, but you do want to clean this off because it, again, carries a lot of um, ink on it. Say hey when y'all get here. Hey, Naomi. Hey, Diana. Hey, Char. It's so nice to see y'all. All right, so I'm cleaning my brayer off and set it down. Okay, I've got to get used to using this. Okay, all right. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and add it to my card base. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my liquid glue. Because I like to give a few seconds, just a few seconds to get it right where I want it. Now, when I first started using liquid glue, I didn't like it because I would get it and it would leak out. But I kept using it. I kept using it and kept using it. The more you use it, the more you'll get used to um where how far to the edge you can go you you'll learn how um how much to lay down like you don't want it real thick however you don't want it so thin that you don't have time to uh maneuver this around so look how easy that look isn't that pretty very pretty all right now Again, I'm using the um, watermelon, and for those that already know or have this set, um, the photopolymer. I'm gonna. The way I'm doing it is making it look like. Okay, so you you have your full watermelon. You cut a slice and then you eat it. So I've got it kind of going that way. Okay, so. I want to get them all in the right direction. These two go together and these two go together. I'm using the Granny Apple Green and the Poppy Parade. The Poppy Parade makes it really pop. Okay. I better go ahead and get some out here. Ooh, look, I've already got it on my hand. It's okay. 
All right, so we're going to start with the watermelon itself. And I like the end that makes it look. Now, y'all, I, I know I told y'all I re ink my, um, my pads. Okay, and so I have to be real careful with how much I put on. I like to let it sit for just a second. And look, that turned out good. All right. Let me wipe that off. So one down. Okay. So now I'm wanting to use the red. This is one of those things I have to think through. Again, it's okay. So I want to come up enough that I can put my green on around it because this is two step. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so this one is the, so my green goes around here. Okay. I had a class using this, and one of the things I had to keep telling them was that you have to put it up. It, it looks like you're not, that you're on the edge and you're not. So you want to go ahead and make sure that, that you get it up far enough. So this uh, piece is bigger than this, so my tip may go off just a little bit, but um, I'm going to try to keep it on the best I can. There. Now let it just sit for a second as it's absorbing there. Good. And then this one. I love this set. And again, it's one of the ones that you get for free. There. Do you see how that one lines up really good? All right. Let me get my chamois out so I can clean these off. Real quick. Look, I've already got it on that thumb too. I hope everybody's doing good. It's raining and fogging lots on your land and cold at night, huh? Well, Naomi, you know, well, I don't know. Most people know that live here. Um, this past weekend, it got down to like 19 and 20. Today, it's, seven, it's 69 degrees. I went out with a jacket on, a sweater, and all that and walked out, and it was hot. It, it might as well have been summer. <laughs> North Carolina. Um Weather is crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, I'm going to close this. We had some fog the other day that was um, pretty bad. Okay, you're the tip of the patch. There you go. Okay, so then we can put this up. Still have to clean this one off. There we go. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> I was like, somehow I, I normally wouldn't have realized that that was gone and who would have known it was on the bottom of my chamois <laughs> something made me go wait a minute something's missing here okay is it isn't this one a cute valentine's card I 
I'm just going to put three of those because these are so small. All right, so now I want them in the order that I want them in. So, all right. Oh, shoot. Now look, I put that one on. Let me see. That's one of the top ones. I want to put him on first and work up. You use the glue 99%? Yeah, yeah. Me too, Char. And I've gotten to where I like it so much better. Okay, now I want this one. I still get a little bit um, seep out, but okay, so this time I'm wanting it to go this way, but down a little bit. And this one is going to go that way. So which way did I have it going? I know I think like this. Try to make them about the same evenness about it there. There. Well, we finally got our tree down this week. No, it was the end of last week, you guys. Um, if you can believe that. You know, half of January was gone when we finally got it down. But uh, that felt good to get it down. Okay. I just want to make sure it's not going to go over my card. And it doesn't. There you go. Now, I'm not putting a lot of bling on there because I feel like the background itself has enough on there, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, I hope y'all like this. I thought it was so cute. All right, that was cord number one. Now look at cord number two. Um, it, again, it's using the most adorned paper. And we're doing the same thing. Oh, thanks, Char. We're using the same paper, but a different uh, design. And I'm adding... Um, color in a different way. Why does that do that? Ugh. My, my, um, for some reason, my laptop went down. I hope y'all can still see me and hear me. Let's see, maybe I need to look. I need to start setting up my um, phone. Let's see if y'all can still see me. Live now. Yeah, okay, good. All right. This one, again, we're starting off with a white background. Or, um, base and again we're going to put this on with some liquid glue maybe not this one because it's empty this one. And we're going to put it to the kind of to the left, so it's not going to be centered exactly. Okay. Now we're going to take the designer series paper, and we're going to start adding color to it. Using the Lost Lagoon. I'm going to uh, stamp up, I mean, 
add color a little at a time. I try to put it in the same spot so if I need to go back and get more, I've got, I can. Like that, I can go back and get more that way. Turn it that way. There. Can you see that? And look at the color of the gold. Just is stunning, I think. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put this down using my liquid glue. All right, what I'm going to do now is we're going to emboss the um, enduring, enduring Beauty. Now, I'm not going to use the whole thing because it takes up way too much of the, um, too much of the um, cord, I think. But I'm going to stamp the whole thing. I better close this while I'm looking at it. Look how nice that was. Okay, put the lid back on.
Okay, now look how pretty that ended up. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. So that not the whole thing is on there. See, that would just be too much. So let me see. I think I started over here. And went. Hmm. Where did I go? I'm going to just start here. Now that now when I look at it, I don't. I'm going to cut that off. Now these have dies, and I could have gone ahead and had uh, cut out. But I wanted to show you how I um, emboss this for um, those that are new and hanging out with me. Y'all, I can't see your comments to um, to respond back to you. So I'm hoping y'all can see what I'm doing. Now I'm leaving this white because I feel like I've um, got so much color on it. Let's see, I think I think what I'm gonna do is cut this out right here. Yeah, this is what I did. Let's see, I don't want to cut too much. What's weird is that when sometimes when you go to cut this out, you're looking at a different um you're looking at it a different way than when I did the first one. I used to, when I would get lost in the countryside, my husband's like, well, you did great on the way there. What happened? And I'm like, well, on the way back, you're doing it, you know, backwards. And uh, so I got lost because nothing looked the same. I, my, all my markers weren't there or were, you know, backwards. So that, that's how I feel about this one. It's like when I did it the first time, it, I was, you know, I went one way. <laughs> Probably did a different way this time. That's okay. All right. Now, when I first put this on, it looked kind of um, funny that way. You know, I guess I could turn it different ways. But I liked it that way. So what I did was I put... I think it's the stylus shapes and it's like a three inch circle of vellum to kind of separate it from the um, from the background. Let's see, maybe I'll use I'm gonna use my um where is it? Guess I'll have to use that. No, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use one dimensionals and put some on the back and again I'm, pu I'm putting it towards the bottom This is going to go on flat. Again, making sure I don't go off the cord. The vellum is, is lifting it up. All right, where's the sentiment? It's right here. I know it is. There it is. All right. 
Did y'all see where the little piece of paper went? Is it stuck to something? No. Did it fall on the floor? No. Y'all, we almost made it through the through the card without losing something. Shoot. Is it on my arms? No. It was right here. Is it stuck on anything? I don't see it. Oh man. Let's see if I have it. Well, I can't see your comments to even tell you for y'all to tell me if y'all saw where it went. Oh well. I don't have another piece. Sorry, you guys. Well, I don't have another piece, but the sentiment on this one says it's always been you. Isn't that so pretty? It's always been you. So kind of a um, really different from the first one. There's a pick of the pad. <laughs> I think that one's so funny, but this one's a little more, I, I want to say, um, not serious, but a little more um, traditional, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, very easy, both of them. Um, if y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them after I get off. Um, I did want to remind you that, um, of course, you know, celebration is going on. And if you have, if you spend $50 in my store, you'll be able to get some of these products for free, which makes it really cool. The other thing I wanted to let you know is that, um, I'm going to be adding some things to Facebook. And not, not every day, but as many as I can. So be on the lookout for some new and exciting things that I think um, are pretty exciting. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, certainly get back with me. And I'll see everybody next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. I hope you have a wonderful week. And take care, everybody. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, I can't turn this off. <laughs> so now what am I going to do? Oh, okay.